What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today is Wednesday, April 29th. Welcome to today's update, starting with the Trade Hacker question of the day. What happened to the price of USO? USO, of course, is the United States Oil Fund, the largest oil ETF. Obviously, there is a crisis going on in oil. And so what happened is, if we go to the platform, taking a look at USO, just yesterday, this was trading at around two bucks a share. And now all of a sudden you wake up this morning and it's at 18. What happened? Did I make a bunch of money if I own shares? No, 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 you did not. Basically what happened is last week they announced that they're going to do a one for eight reverse split. So basically what that means is, let's say you owned 800 shares of USO. You woke up this morning, instead of having 800, you own 100 but they are worth eight times as much. So all it did is, is kind of repriced it. You don't benefit or get hurt from that. If you do own shares, it just simply is a reverse split to bring that price higher and, and allow for more funding and things, you know, hedge funds and, and big institutions, they don't like to invest in $2 stocks. And so uh, this will just help with their overall flow of cash in their system. So that's what happened in USO. Let's take a look at the rest of the market. Big up day. S&P's up over 87 points. Dow up over 600. NASDAQ up over 380. Russell up 65. And this is about 40 minutes after the bell has rung. So this we are in after hours here. What about earnings? Four big earnings happen after the bell. Uh, let's start with our friends Facebook. So here's Facebook. Let's go to a let's just go to a five minute chart and that will give us the overnight action. And so what you'll see, let me zoom in here for you. So the gray is is after hours. So they announced and stock closed here at about 194 and it's already trading up to 212. So big move higher in Facebook. For those of you who are members, make sure you're in the community pre-market. We'll be posting a potential post earnings trade in Facebook. Uh, another earnings that came out, Tesla, big up move in Tesla as well. Closed at about 800, it's at about 863. Expected move in Tesla was about 76, I think. Yeah, a little over 76. So still within its expected move, whereas Facebook, going back to Facebook, the expected move was about 12, and it is well beyond its, its expected move. So what else? eBay, E-B-A-Y. Uh, so eBay basically did a little, did a little dance and is uh, ending up right back where it started, right back where it closed the day. So not much there. Of course, we have all night. We still got the earnings call coming up as well. And then lastly, Microsoft. Microsoft up as well. So closed at about 177, and it's up to about 184. The expected move in Microsoft was about seven and a half bucks. Yeah, a little, little less than seven and a half. So it is beyond its expected move as well. So we will be looking at Facebook, Tesla, and Microsoft in the community tomorrow morning. Uh, potential trades first thing out of the gate. No new trades today, but let's take a look at what some of the other stocks are doing. Airlines are up big. I mean, everything's, everything's green except for AMD. Let's see what else we got here. What other big movers? Uh, Harley-Davidson. Another big move today after their earnings a couple days ago. Slumberjay up 12%. And Yelp up a nice 20, almost 20%. So big moves higher. This market has no fear. It is interesting to see how this stimulus and the Fed rate cuts and all the money flowing into the system is just really propping this thing up. The question is, how long will this band-aid last? That is the magic question. Everybody have a good evening. We'll talk to you tomorrow.